How's it going, Sly Cooper fam? And lot of Sly here and people today. Today it's a Friday the 16th, but I know that I'm going to be a bit lazy while recording this video because I am betting I will not have time to edit and upload it today. So this video will be up on Wednesday. So yeah, that's why this video is going probably on Wednesday, even though I'm recording this the Friday. But anyway, in today's video, I am going to make a discussion video about Clockwork. Now this was a thing that popped into Amino. Now in Amino, if you're not there yet, make sure you join us in the Amino app. Just go to Amino, type in Cooper Nation and you will find our chat room. Now in our chat room, you can either chat, you can either chat, you can either post stuff, post stuff and do a whole bunch of awesome things there. Now make sure you join us if you're not there already. Now people, now my work thing is finally over. It was a pain in the butt. I am wearing today a penguin onesie thing because it's cold as fudge. It's almost Christmas, one week until Christmas time. Actually, Christmas is this week, is next Sunday. I'm, I'm uploading this on Wednesday and Christmas will be Sunday. So this week I will post to you guys three videos, Wednesday, Friday and on Christmas Day. Now with this out of the way, let's just go into the discussion itself. So before we kick off the video, one quick note, I am definitely looking forward for this one and for the future videos because I was waiting so long and so desperate to start recording again. Now before we go into the theory, you shout out to Cat Gaming, Computer Cat Gaming, Tabras, DJ Tronic, Jones and myself because we were making a discussion about this and a whole bunch of points are mentioned by them so you shout out for you guys you help with a lot in this discussion make sure you stay tuned and active on amino because i make broadcasts and those broadcasts will lead into the videos and then i shout out you guys in the video because you helped me getting the points needed for the video itself now with this out of the way kicking it off So Clockwork is this mysterious figure that is always hiding in the shadows. Now, throughout the series we see this shadowy figure, but we don't really see Clockwork until the end of Cy Cooper, the Phoebus Raccoonus. So in the first game, we finally get a chance to meet Clockwork in person. And is this psychotic evil owl that's just haunting the Cooper clan for generations. Now in the beginning of Sly 2, we see Sly saying that he used hatred to stay alive hundreds of years to hunt the rival family. So basically, Clockwork rival, Clockwork is a rival of the Cooper clan. But like, why is he a rival of the Cooper clan? Now, there may be possible reasons that relate this to Egypt, because to be honest, the only legit reason for this hatred is jealousy, because he was jealous of the Cooper clan because he got worst reputation in comparing to the rival family. Now why are they rivals? Now I know that owls eat raccoons and all but let's be honest that's not the case here because foxes eat raccoons and Carmelita kind of likes Sly so that's not that doesn't that point doesn't count here that doesn't count but tell me what you guys think now throughout this video I will say stuff and I'll be mentioning stuff so make sure you you go along and comment what are your thoughts and ideas about what I'm saying and at the end you make your own conclusion. So yeah, let's just keep moving forward. Now, in slide 2 we see that Clockwork, although he's already dead, he's still alive. Now, he's alive by parts. Now there's something really, really interesting here that DJ Tronic mentioned. Like, Clockwork in slide 2 died. Like the pieces, the parts died, they vanished because we destroyed the hate ship. And in slide 4, we see the clockwork eye. Now this may be something that Sanzaro guys decided to add to the game, just to say like it was kind of an easter egg, like they did uh, clockwork in every single level. Although it's kind of weird seeing clockwork in the ice age time, because that time, that time is weird, so I'm not gonna comment on that. Even though he shall be probably starting from Egypt, because Egypt is actually the first Cooper, according to Soccer Punch, and we see Clockwork tailing Sight Common, but I already said this a lot of times in the past, and I'm going to say again. 
Clockwork is probably from Agent Egypt. Now, this is my own opinion. You may make up your own opinions, but if you have a different opinion, make sure you state it in the comments and tell me why you have that opinion. Now, keep moving forward. Um, what else? The hate chip. Now, Clockwork survived hundreds of years because of hatred. He turned his mortal body into a metal body. Now, how he did that is later on for the video. But he got hatred and he stayed alive. Now, this hatred may be shadows, maybe black magic, dark magic, it's all the same. For all the series, we see black magic, we see Miss Ruby, we see Contessa, we see the mask of the dark crap in Guru's chapter, we see a whole bunch of evil things <laughs> in the game. We see General Tsao, dark magic, we see a lot, and I mean a lot of dark magic. So dark magic is not the uh, actual news in the series. If we play Sly 5, I'm betting there's going to be a whole bunch of dark level of magic there. Now, the hate chip, I have a question for you guys. Do you think the hate chip already existed? That Clockwork had that hate chip or it was made by Arpeggio? Now, Arpeggio kind of introduced the hate chip so that Clockwork could like maintain his hatred concentrated like a battery. Let's say it was a battery of a phone, he could easily control his hatred by that but now how did clockwork turn into a metal body now we don't see we don't know exactly when he did this but let's assume he's from agent egypt now agent egypt he was a, a normal human being he was mortal but then he bought his body got transformed maybe when he got to the robot form in agent egypt it was too strong for Satan common the first and then he killed Satan common the first and clear the sun and so on so forth until the Coopers finally managed to beat him and so forth so forth but like he only dies when Sly is born because Sly probably was the only one defeating Clockwork from the entire generation now they all faced him in a point but they all kind of failed at the end so yeah I'm not sure how the story kind of connects here if I'm trying I'm trying to make sense here but at the same time if you think about it it's actually kind of difficult but returning into the point on how did it turn itself into a metal robot now assuming it's from ancient Egypt and we have the time travel introduced in Sci-4 maybe Penelope or even Dr. M are associated with this clockwork thing now Paradox hated Sly because his dad kind of ruined his dad and he was left alone but this could mean that Penelope will help Clockwork and turn Clockwork into a robot but that's kind of weird because assuming that Penelope did this that would mean that Penelope could not ask Clockwork to kill Sly because if that happens Penelope will never meet Penley so assuming this Let's say that Penelope was in charge of Clockwork and made this kind of agreement, like I give you this immortal body, you just need to hate the Cooper line, you get this immortal body, and then you just go hunt the Coopers. But when you arrive at this date, at this specific Cooper, you don't kill him, you just kill his parents, so this kid grows with hatred and you become even more stronger. But there's kind of a catch here, because to be honest, Clockwork killed Sly's dad so that Sly could hate on Clockwork but I'm not sure if this is because it's a kids game but to be honest I don't see Sly ever getting mad at all throughout the series like we see Murray getting all wired up in the Katana chapter we see Bentley going A-wire in the future but we never actually see Sly going A-wire if you know what I mean by this now I'm not entirely sure how it goes but Another topic here is basically we got the Penelope part of the way. Penelope make agreement, Clockwork kills Sly is dead and leaves Sly alive because of hatred. That was kind of a deal with Penelope. That's topic one. Now topic two is actually related to Dr. M. Let's assume that Dr. M kind of attacked Connor. Maxwini stepped in the way. They decide to lay low and defy themselves. So Maxwini goes to jail, Sly goes with his daddy and leave home whatever and Dr. Ram just goes to the Cane Island now from this point on Dr. Ram I think Dr. Ram already knew Clockwork kinda they faced but let's say I'm not I'm not gonna say like Dr. Ram didn't didn't like the Coopers but I'm not going to say that at 
some point he decided to kill Connor, so that's kind of extreme to be honest. That is very, very extreme. So I'm going to assume that Clockwork kind of brainwashed Dr. M into doing something. So Dr. M made a deal with Clockwork and Clockwork kind of killed Sly's dad. That's just what I'm assuming by this. Because like, Dr. M is crazy but I've not seen him killing Sly's dad. Unless the situation is very extreme because to be honest we don't know why Dr. M is just like that. We just know that he wasn't a good friend. That's the only thing he ever says to us. Are you catching me? Am I going too fast for you guys? Hope you, hopefully I'm not going too fast. I basically explained what is Clockwork and then I divided it in two parts. The Penelope one and the Dr. M one. Now, last but not least, the last part of the discussion in this video. What about Nila? What about it? You may be thinking, what about it? Why, why, why is that whole mention here? <laughs> now, I know she's kind of a weird character because, to be honest, she was the main plot of Sly 2. Vengeance, backstabbing, plot, plot, awesome plot. I'm not gonna lie, the plot on Sly 2 was the best, even though the gameplay in Sly 3 is actually very, very good. And the animations, the smoke bomb and whatnot. And whatnot. But to be honest, Nila kind of bring to the table a whole different story when it comes to plot. Now, she's this inspector that is working with Carmelita. Now, Nila graduated from university and then she kind of met Arpeggio in the way and she became Arpeggio's protege. Now, from that point forward, they make this weird partnership and at the end of slide 2, she killed Arpeggio because she backstabbed every single one. Carmelita, Interpol, even though she was a captain, Sly and at the end her own partnership boss daddy thingy sugar daddy thingy arpeggio so at the end she became Clockwa. whoa i had to stop there for like five to ten minutes i am talking so much boys <laughs> now returning into the topic what about nila now we see that nila is this backstabbing chick that give the plot to Sly. Too. Now, did you know, ju just a trivia, did you know that the same voice of Carmelita is the same voice of Nila? So the same person did the two voices, which is kind of sick to think about. But anyway, that was just a trivia. Now, one fun thing that Nila actually states during the battle is that she may not have the power of hatred, but she's feeling something inside her. Now, when I'm meaning that... <laughs> okay, never mind. Now, when I'm seeing this... Like, she may be herself, but at the same time, she's not herself. Now, what I mean by this is basically, let's say that Clockwork is never dead. Clockwork is this spirit. Clockwork is like an evil spirit that is haunting that metal body. Let's say this, like, the mortal Clockwork is already long gone, but his spirit is always haunting this body because looking at the part where Clockla opens her mouth, we see Nila but we don't see Nila, if you know what I mean. Like, we see this kind of spirit. Nila is not a mortal anymore. He's not, a, he's not the corpse. He's not a corpse. Now, Arpeggio said, get out of the frame or else. Now, when we say this, it's kind of a threat, but maybe Arpeggio in deep, deep down knew something about this evil spirit thing because Nila, how is Nila supposed to get out of that frame now? She entered by the mouth? But when she opens the mouth, she's not Neil anymore, it's just this weird hologram thing. Now, could this just be a robot and she's just inside and just holograms her face? But it's kind of a weird thing to think about because, like, yeah, she fused it with the body. She's, she doesn't have her body anymore. It's just her spirit inside Clockwork's body, if you think about it. Because Clockwork, Clockwork's body was already very destroyed in his face. Now, Neela could easily get out of the frame and maybe take, take up the Coopers and go to jail, but no, she actually died. She exploded. <laughs> could she return? Definitely not. I don't think Neela can return ever again. We may see her in the past like an Egypt Egypt ancestor. She kind of looks Egypt or Indian, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that was basically the discussion video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you still a like and join the Cooper Nation. I'm Lotto Slime, make sure you leave your own thoughts and ideas in the comments down below and I will catch you guys Friday for 
this video that you can see on the screen top five frustrating missions in slide two we did this for side one and i finally got my girlfriend's lazy ass to finish slide two so let's go into slide two yeah she finished yeah yeah i said that right <laughs> peace out